And good morning, guys. Guess where I'm back at? Yep, I'm back at Mall of America. I did a video about this, I don't know, a while ago, but we're back here again. Um, nothing's changed. It's really big and stuff. I forgot to tell you why I'm here. Um, we're actually here to play this game called The Escape Room. A little lock. Anyways, heard a lot of things about it, so we're gonna try it out. And uh, there's no filming in involved, so later. So we played the game, we lost. Pretty close though, we, like, we had like two more things open and we would have won the game, but that did not work out. Anyways, we're moving on, we're gonna have, I don't know what we're doing next, but we're probably gonna leave this crazy big mall it's too big, guys. What's up, worst vloggers in the world? We didn't film anything for the last couple of days. Today we just finished up doing a music video with Laura for her hymn CD, and that went really, really well. So Minnesota has treated us very well, and it's unfortunate that we have to leave. The seminars we did with David and Abby were incredible, and I think they did more than just bring souls to Christ. It actually brought us all closer together, and I hope to work with them again. But for me and Laura, we are on our way to Wisconsin. Attack it. <laughs> Lord's in love. I guess this is where we're gonna stay for the next week. So nice little humble abode. Yeah, so me and Laura will be here in this RV just working on her album, working on the other album I recorded with the sound waves. And uh, I guess I'll see you. Saturday or Friday when we uh, do the first concert. That'd be good. I'm just, just, I'm just working a lot. There's nothing to film. Psych. Look what we found in our shower this morning. Yeah. It's a frog. Hello, froggy froggy. He's so cute. Okay, let's not let him escape in here. I'll put him in the shade under the tree. Be free. He likes it. It's my hand. Okay. Be free. <laughs> Stubborn frog. You know, ministry is an incredible thing. The people we get to meet on the road and the stories that they get to share with us is uncanny. I don't even think I can come close to explaining to you just how valuable those, those tiny moments are with them. But the strangest thing happened the other day. I was engaged in a conversation with a young individual and he said something that kind of stuck with me. He said, I look up to you and Laura, and I was immediately happy with the fact that I was doing something to better someone else's life. And then that moment passed, and the weight and the gravity of having the responsibility to be a role model to a young person lingered over me. And I was a little frightened, and then that moment passed, and I realized something incredible. Because if you were to look at the world and all the churches and all their doctrinal differences, you would realize we all have one role model. We have Christ. See, we are all striving for one goal. We're all striving to have that character that is in Christ, that is righteous and pure and clean. And we don't have to do it alone. We can look to one another for help along the way. But ultimately, all we have to do is look at Christ. And if we are all doing that, there's nothing to be afraid of. But I'm not saying that it's a bad thing to look up towards people. Me and Laura definitely have people in ministry that are more experienced than us and we seek their advice when we think we need it. And there's definitely um, spiritual leaders that we have in our life that we'll seek counsel from if there is a certain topic we can't get past or something. Ultimately what I'm trying to say is the people we are looking up to that we would consider role models, they should be looking to Jesus. They should be looking to Christ. And if they have those qualities, then that would be someone that I would consider to be a good role model. Anyways, I'm sorry that this video took so long. If you've noticed, I, uh, I hurt my finger, so now it's all, it's all jacked up. It'll, it'll heal or whatever, it's a long story. But if you know where I'm at right now, I'm in my sound booth, which means we made it home. Yeah, we've been home for almost a week. Me and Laura have been working super hard on her Going Home album. So actually, maybe about two weeks after this video is out, it'll, it'll be available. But I'll put it in the links down below. I'm sorry the video is so short. I usually do these a little bit longer. I just didn't have any content to put out and I was just trying to wrap it up. I, it was full of montages because I just didn't film a whole lot. I got in way too hard into photography when we were in Minnesota and then when we were in Wisconsin for about a week, all I did was work and like 
you can't just film me working all the time. I'm always at a desk, just straight up, just editing away, so. <laughs> but if you like this content and would like to see more of it, just consider subscribing uh, or write a comment down below. Like the video if that's something you're into. And I guess I will see you in the next video. I have many more projects that I wanna do, many more projects like the last video I put out um, called Why Christians Aren't Cowards. That video did really well and I wanna do more content like that. So mosey on over there, go check that video out. It'll be right here. And you know what? Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you taking your time to watch these videos and I will continue to make them as long as this audience is here. All right, see you later.